Pie Crafters, it's Karen, and I come with to you with another project share. I had some time this weekend, or I actually took the time this weekend to um, craft. So one of the things that I had been working on was this lace book, and this is inspired by I believe her name is Jeanette. She is scrap scrap happy. I'll put her below, but she had done this gorgeous lace book. And um, she shared a tutorial, and I pretty much followed her tutorial except for the binding. I used the um, stack the deck binding, except I only did two layers, or two, yeah, I guess two, I don't know what you call it, but two layers, and um, I made them all a half inch apart so that I would have room for the um, laces and trims. So, um, and I did, I believe this, this is smaller than the one that she shared. Um, the pages inside are six by six. So anyway, I created this, the covers are the lightweight black chipboard. And um, for the cover, uh, I, obviously I did it in a, like a vintage style. This, the paper I used is from the engraver collection. Um, and I sprayed it with some of my uh, Tattered Angels and um, Lindy's Stamp Gang to give it a deeper uh, vintage color. Um, then I, I added some flowers here. I added this little piece of brown trim from, or lace from Joann's. Um, there's a little doily underneath here from Julie the Paper Bag Lady. And then this black flowers from Saw Crafters. These two um, pretty brown roses are from I Am Roses. And then um, the tiny, whoops, sorry, the tiny brown ones are from Hobby Lobby. And these burgundy ones are from my stash. And then these are from um, Hobby Lobby as well. And these are, the gray ones are um, I Am Roses. So um, that's why I did the cover. I just added a doily. This is a wooden banner from um, Recollections, and I just used my label maker to um, print out lace. Um, I added a little bird veneer there. This is one of the Tim Holtz, um, um, I forgot what he calls them, but they're the acrylic. You can use your paper and you adhere it to the back um, to create the, the charm. And the paper I used is from Tim Holtz and I used it because of all the different measurements there. It just reminded me, you know, measurements for cutting lace. Um, I used this rosette here to um, adhere my seam binding underneath and another flower from my stash. That's from Hobby Lobby. Um, I went along the side with, with this pretty trim, this new trim that Hobby Lobby is carrying. And um, and this trim here is also from Hobby Lobby. It comes on a it comes in like um, on a huge roll with four like strips of it. So I use that, and then this is um, rosette trim from Gisela's shop, lavish laces, really pretty. And then I did the same thing on the back. So that's the cover. And um, it's not, you know, sturdy like a mini album. It's, it's not intended to be. You know, it's just to hold laces, maybe laces and trims that you want to hoard or something. So, um, so for my, for my pages, I used craft paper and um, cut into six by 12 pieces. And then I measured out, you know, the little notch that I wanted to make here. I think it's an inch deep and, um, I don't know, three inches long and then, you know, an inch deep. So, um, you know, and then I folded it over and I, and that's how I adhered it to my hinge on the bottom there. Um, I'll put the link below to the tutorial um, on how to create these lace books. I think it's a fantastic idea, really sweet. So for the, whoops, sorry, for the inside of this one, I added a Tim Holtz glassine bag. Um, these are little 
uh, gemstones from Hobby Lobby and I stamped this uh, Prima stamp on the cover or on the glassine envelope added some lace across the top and there's a tag in here that I had stamped and this is probably where I'll put my message on the back there and so I just you know did each page um, after I did each page I adhered my engraver paper with Mod Podge so and then um, I used these stick pins that I had gotten at um, the expo to hold my laces in place. So there's only um, four pages but it holds eight trims. So there's like two, four, six, eight, yeah, eight trims. Um, I used my washi tape to, to initially hold the trim to the page and then, you know, pinned it on. So I just thought it was a cute way to keep your trims or to send trims and if she wants you know if she uses all the trims up you know she can fill the book up again and send it off to one of her scrappy friends or something so those are the pages and then um, for over here I used you know this is that foam that you that when you get brads they're stuck in like this this foam so I cut one of them in half and then I let me show you and then I, I measured it out and I went all all around it with um, the black chipboard you know so that the white wouldn't show except for of course on the top um, this is the Tim Holtz Baroque die cut out from the collection and then I just added um, the stick pins for her and these stick pins are really long they're like three and a half inches long from tip to the top of this pearl here so they're really long I think they came out really cute made a little more shabby chic type one really sweet and then And then this one, which I think is cute as well. So I think it the book came out really sweet. Um, I'm now I know more about what I'm what I'm doing. <laughs> so um, I'm making another one, and I think it'll go a lot quicker this time. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye bye.